Hello everyone, I'm Sam Reichert. It's the weekend and the seven day forecast brought to you by Cross Point Church. They're located on Blocker Street in Olive Branch. Let's talk about this new weather set just for a moment. Got the desk in front of me, got some notes right in front of me that I can refer to over here on this uh, screen will normally show the all the different maps and the seven day forecast and those things right behind me though we've got a camera looking out over the front of city hall that's a live camera when i'm making this uh, video during the early morning hours and then over here if radar is a uh, color if there's lots of things going on the radar i'll have the radar over there otherwise you can look at that seven day forecast if you don't want to listen to me just look at that seven day forecast and, uh, and then you can move on, I guess. And then right in front of me, we put the logo of the sponsor of, uh, of this weather segment. If you would like to sponsor one of our weather products, just shoot me an email at weathermayor at gmail.com. Let's look at the national map now. We can see a cold front move to the south of us yesterday. That brought some gusty, gusty winds to the area yesterday. I had one report in the south central part of DeSoto County yesterday afternoon, a wind gust of 42 miles per hour. Most of the Olive Branch stations that I can see had wind gusts in the middle 30 mile per hour range. So let's look at the map feature. Well, first we're going to look at the big weather story in the New England area, a northeaster moving up the coast there. Boston, Massachusetts under a blizzard warning today with snow totals up to 20 to 25 inches expected and strong, strong winds. Very, very tight snowfall total gradient right along the coastal areas at Boston. You'll have that 20 to 25 inch range, but you get to the western side of Massachusetts. They may only receive six or seven inches of snow. I said rain, but snow is what I was talking about in that area. So now let's look at the national map. We put those uh, features in motion for you. You can see that cold front that moved through yesterday. You can see all the blue and the, the uh, snow moving up the eastern coast today and tomorrow. They may not recover up in that area until sometime on Wednesday when temperatures get significantly above freezing there. Nothing showing up on our radar right now. Nothing showing up on our watches or warning map in our area anyway. So let's look at the seven day forecast on either side of me today as I explained to you. Today's high temperature will be 42 degrees with sunny skies. Winds from the northwest 5 to 10 miles an hour shifting to the southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour this afternoon. Our low tonight only 32. Then we warm up to 56 tomorrow with sunny skies. We have a hint of spring by the middle of the week, but winter comes back and lets us know that winter's not through with us yet. 63 and sunny on Monday, 65 and cloudy on Tuesday with a 20% chance of showers. Wednesday, next system moves into the area, an 80% chance of rain on Wednesday. We drop off to 35 Wednesday night, and then Thursday morning is the really tricky part of this forecast. We may have cold air chasing rain as it moves out of here. Maybe one of those scenarios that it doesn't quite get cold enough to change anything to wintry mix on Thursday morning, but it could, and that's why I have that uh, that mixture of uh, rain with that graphic on Thursday. A 70% chance of precipitation on Thursday morning ending by the afternoon. High 38 temperatures falling throughout the day. Overnight low Thursday night into uh, Friday morning 18 degrees. And then on Friday it's going to be cold, sunny, high temperature 33. I'm Sam Reichert. Thanks for watching.